Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. Now Kenyans, Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi this morning is dropping a bombshell amid the Rigadi Gashagwa's Senate impeachment trial. Ahmed, Nas uh, ah Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi is saying this. My takeaway from day one of the DP Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa impeachment trial before the Senate, the process ticks all boxes in terms of it being a political process. The prosecution evidence adduced by the National Assembly isn't good enough to convince even a kangaroo court uh, of Moi stroke Kanu era, only a Juris Pesa court will convict the DP on the woefully inadequate evidence submitted by the National Assembly. That is the statement of Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder, as you watch the video, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Now Kenyans, I want us to be open-minded and let us think beyond this. As we have been told by Ahmed Nasir, that in terms of a political process, then the process ticks all the boxes in terms of being a political process. But now, remember, we are having something called a constitutional process. And so the constitutional process, Ahmed Nasir is saying, the prosecution evidence adduced by the National Assembly is not good enough to convince even a kangaroo court of Moi era, stroke Kano era. It means that after this political process, that I've seen some individuals emotionally celebrating that Rigadi Gashago has gone, they are likely to be shocked. Even before the court will take over this, remember it will depend how the Senate is going to decide today, this event. This is going to depend how the Senators are going to decide. Because remember, a constitutional process cannot start now, yet the Senate has not finalized it. So I want you to understand, my, my viewers, we have a political process on this side. And we are having a constitutional process that also protects Rigali Gashago as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. So what we are having now is called a political process without a, a prosecution evidence adduced to convince Kenyans that Rigali Gashago is guilty. Because you can clearly even see some evidences are not there. Are not there. You cannot tell us that Rigal Gashagwa is singing about shares, yet his boss talked about that shares in Muranga, where he told the people of Muranga that Sinyijin wa kwanza kupata shares wa hii serikali. Nandiyo mana lipea nani, akapea mutu, akapea nini nyoro share of business committee in the National Assembly, and those things. So I want you to be open-minded and understand this logic that what we are having now is a political process. It's not a court. Then later, if Rigali Gashago is not going to be served with the justice as he expects, then he's likely to go to court. Now that will start something called a constitutional process where Rigali Gashago as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya is protected there. And by protection, 
you must produce an evidence that adduced that regarding Gashagwa is convicted and guilty and he must be removed from the office by impeachment. But if it is not going to be so, then we are just, just, we are just joking. I've said it and I've, I've repeated it many times. I've never supported Rigad Gashagwa. I never voted for Rigad Gashagwa and William Ruto. You know? And I'm not having any chance of supporting Rigad Gashagwa. But I'm telling you, upon my realization, what I've watched yesterday during the night, and today as I continue to watch, there's nothing like evidence that can be adduced before Rigad Gashagwa to convict him guilty. I can't. Remember, being convinced. And I'm not ready to be convinced because you can clearly see. Awa anasema, Rigadhi ya shoko menyanganya, watoto ya tima, na mjani, mali. Awa wame complain, kuna file, wame file case kutini. Kama ingekuwa wame file na kuna kweli, court cases, cases, that is attaching Rigadhi ya shoko to this, then ninge kubali. Hakuna evidence. Wanasema regard ya shagwa alinuwa sijuye hekasi ngapi. I want to present even that land number. Hakuna. And that is what we are looking after. So wale wako na emotions wanasema, oh regard ya shagwa meenda sujii nini? Relax. Relax. Kuja pole pole. Ile siyasa sujii ya zimio ya Kenya kwanza hakuna hapa. Hii ni issue ya political process then after that we are going to proceed to constitutional process. So don't worry. Things are going to be better for Rigadhi Gashagwa. I'm telling you. Without any fear of contradiction. I told you here. It is just political conmen. And sellouts. And I'm not fearing to say that again. Political conmen. And sellouts. Who are collecting themselves into a certain corner. In the name of bringing development. They are complaining. That Rigadhi Gashagwa is the hindrance to development of this country. So you want to tell me, if Rigadhi Gashagwa now is going to be impeached, you should go to na Madao Subtali Yote. Is that day, tutakuwa na Mabarabara, Yamana, tutakuwa na Stadiums. Zile vitu wali launch fake, watamaliza. Come on, Kenyans, let us open our ears very clear and listen. This impeachment has nothing to do with gross violation of the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. With this little knowledge that I have. No? So, those who are saying, oh, wacha, regard gashago amenda. That is your wish. You know? In fact, if it is the government that has destroyed our country, is Kenya Kwanza government? Is Kenya Kwanza government? And for me, if Rigal Gashago is going, let William Ruto also go. And because atutaki masaka sasai, wacha wakai 27 watolewe. That is it. Simple and clear. Na ya MP wapewe discipline. Waambiwe tuki wachakua munaenda kurepresent our issues. Not the issue of William Ruto. It is so traumatizing that we are electing members of parliament, but they are going to serve the interest of a president, not the interest of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.